great day and usually at this time we visit with Brett Roski. It's Roski on politics time but in lieu of what has happened recently we have a very special Roski on politics this morning. So normally my segments here on this program reflect the lighter side of politics but not today. Last night nine people were uh, shot dead in South Carolina in cold blood as they were praying in church. Uh, every media outlet in the country will be uh, covering this. But since my uh, program focuses on politics, I wanted to speak about the minister of the church who was actually a state senator. I wanted to pay respects uh, to this man. Reverend and state senator Clementa Pinckney was just 41 years old. He received a Master's of Divinity degree from the Lutheran Theological Southern Seminary and a Master's degree in Public Administration from the University of South Carolina. He was elected to, to the South Carolina House in 96 and elected to State Senate in 2000. Uh, South Carolina State Senator Tom Davis posted this message online just a few hours ago. My friend and colleague, Senator Clementa Pinckney, was one of the nine people shot and killed last night in Charleston at Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church. As we mourn his death, also remember his passion and sense of justice, both of which were on display in this Senate speech in the aftermath of Walter Scott's murder. Rest in peace, Clem. This video we're about to see shows the shattering irony of one man now murdered giving, giving a speech about another man killed in cold blood. It's heartbreaking, but Senator Pinckney's eloquence and grace then uh, were too great to not share with you now. So from the floor of the South Carolina State Senate in a speech he gave only two months ago, here is the now deceased Senator Pinckney. Today, the nation looks at South Carolina and is looking at us to see if we will rise to be the body and to be the state that we really say that we are. Over this past week, uh, many of us have seen on the television, have read in newspapers, and have seen all the reports about uh, Walter Scott, who, in my words, uh, was murdered in North Charleston. It has really uh, created a real heartache uh, and a yearning for justice. Uh, people, and not just in the African-American community, but in, for all people, and not just in the Charleston area or even in South Carolina, uh, but across our country. Uh, the senator from Charleston, Senator Kimson, along with the senator from Darlington, Senator Malloy, along with many co-sponsors that have been mentioned, senators from Charleston, Senator Thurman, senator from Berkeley, Senator Grooms, uh, have led and are leading a bipartisan effort for us to have body cameras. As we are in uh, the Christian season of Easter, we're reminded of the story of Jesus gathering his disciples in Galilee in the upper room. And in that week following Easter, every disciple was there but one, Thomas. And if you don't mind a small recap of the story, Jesus walks through a locked door and the disciples see something that they were amazed to see and that is the living Jesus. And they were able to see the nails in his hand and they were able to put their hand in his side to prove to them Jesus allowed this so that they would have no doubt. But one body, one person was missing, and that was Thomas. And when Thomas heard the news, he said he didn't believe it. He said, there's no way, it's impossible. Jesus is dead. There's no way that he came and visited. But the next week, Thomas was there, Jesus walked in. He said, I won't believe until I see the nails. I won't believe until I can put my hand in your side. And it was only when he was able to do that, he said, I believe my Lord and my God. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, when we first heard on the television that a police officer had gunned down an unarmed African-American in North Charleston by the name of Walter Scott. There were some who said, wow, the national story has come home 
to South Carolina. But there were many who said there is no way that a police officer would ever shoot somebody in the back six, seven, eight times. But like Thomas, when we were able to see the video and we were able to see the gunshots and when we saw him fall to the ground and when we saw the police officer come and handcuff him on the ground without even trying to resuscitate him without even seeing if he was really alive without calling an ambulance without calling for help and to see him die face down in the ground as if he were gunned down like game i believe we all were like thomas and said i believe Okay, again, powerful speech from that. Interview. Very powerful. And there's some new information, apparently? Yeah, it just, just came down. Uh, they have now released the name of the man, the 21-year-old who killed those nine people, including that amazing uh, Reverend uh, Panicki. 21-year-old uh, Dylan Storm Roof is his name. That has just now been released as they continue to search for him at this time. So, now they know who they're looking for. so Reverend Pinckney was only 41 years old. He was the youngest African-American ever elected to the South Carolina State Legislature at the, air, at the age of only 23. Wow. Our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family and the other folks taken far too soon last night in Charleston.